today, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, we look at the volume of pyramids and cones. I will find my very, very exciting demonstration if, in fact, I can find it. Here is the deal. I can sum this up in one simple yet exciting statement. Volumes of pyramids and cones, anything that comes to a point, can simply be summed up in this. The volume of pyramids and cones slash cones is equal to one third of the volume of the prism slash cylinder that contains it. This won't make any sense to you. But this will, here is your visual. Take a look, see here. And I don't know what happened to my comb, but it's true with the comb. I got the cylinder, but I don't have the comb that goes in it. Oh. I do like that comb that goes in it. Which means this. I got all four different ones. Here's the deal. Okay, take a look. Here is my pyramid. Okay, this is the solid prism that it's made from. In other words, if you did if you if you did any prism, you know, let's say I did. All right, let's say I do this solid here. Let's say I've got what is this? A rectangular prism. Okay. And I make a pyramid out of it, which means I put a little dot up here and I connect these corners. See how that pyramid fits inside of that cone? I just put it up here like this so you can see it. Okay, just like this. Is. It has the same base, same base, goes to the point. There are exactly three, if this was a cup, Three of these, it will take three of these pyramids, despite me throwing water around, it'll take three of those to fill up this thing. And it's a little short because I spilled all that. Here's the cone. Ooh, I love the smell of that water. Okay, empty. One. Two and three. And again, now, now the reason why these aren't completely filled up is because there's a volume there of the thickness of this thing. It's like that much space for that. Otherwise, it would be exactly. Wait, let's do one more. What's the name of this prism? Well. Isabel, it is a pentagonal. I am going to do my best to try to get, try to get this completely full. Yeah. And it works for
for all those. So you can write these formula down. This would be it. The volume of a pyramid, if you remember the volume of any prism is, oh, let's just do it here. The area of the base <laughs> times the height of the shape. But if it's the volume of a pyramid, thunder, cue the thunder. Whoa! <laughs> Divided by three. <laughs> <laughs> Multiplying by one third, a third of is the same thing as dividing by three. So if you have this pyramid, take a look. See. Now let's just make it up. Let's say this is a right angle, and this is uh, ten and eight. And the height of this shape is, uh, let's say, 9. Okay. To find the volume of this, remember that again? Now you have to think about the base. On this, you can't really think. When you talk about pyramids, you can't think of the loaf of bread theory. You just have to think about the side that's opposite the point is its base. The base of the shape is the triangle, so the area of the triangle is A of T times height all divided by 3. First of all, we know its height is 9, correct? The formula for the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height, 1 half of 8 times 10. All divided by 3. And the beauty about multiplying and dividing is it doesn't matter what order you do it in. Okay, you can take all of this top stuff, multiply it out, divide it by 3, or I can say, oh look, 3 goes into 9 3 times, and then just go half of 8 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12 times 10, 120, whatever it is, each is cubed. If this were a complete, you should be able to tell me. What would be the volume of this triangular? If I drew all of these up here, if I drew all of these up here. What would be the volume of the triangular prism if I drew it with that cone or that pyramid inside of it? If the cone, if the pyramid is a third of the volume of the whole solid, and that was this. What would be the volume of this triangular prism then, Jaden? 360. If it was the complete thing. Same thing, the volume of a cone is the volume of a cylinder, which was pi times radius times radius times height. That's the volume of a cylinder. You just need to divide that by 3. So if you've got, if you've got your cone, and you know its diameter is 20 inches, and you know its height is 20 inches, that's all you need to know to figure out what its volume is. It's not going to work out nicely. Uh, what's, oh yeah, what, what's the radius? 10. 10 times 10 times what's its height? All divided by 3 because it is a third of the cylinder that would contain it. So what is 10 times 10? 100 times 20 is 2,000 pies divided by 3. You could probably just leave it as that. Although you could do it out, what is it? 666 and what? 2 thirds pies? You can leave it like this. Unless they tell you to, if they say you leave in terms of pi, you can leave it like that. If they give you pi, then you have to do it out, which is not any fun. But know full well that that is one third of the cylinder that would have contained that cone. 
always think to divide by three. Not that way. Three. See what else they ask. Sure, let's try one. Look at page 86. C. The diameter of the base of a cone is 20 inches. The height is 21 inches. Where is the volume of the cone? <coughs> Express the answer in terms of pi and again round it to the nearest two inch. I don't think we need to do that. We have to do it. Make sure that you're sketching all this out. Yeah, that's about what I'm going to do. 